Okay, so we have seen so far that uh, content marketing, especially in the B2B sector, is a powerful way to decrease the cost of acquisition. We have seen that there are alternative uh, channels for distributing this content, but really the problem is what do I talk about, when to talk about it, and how good is what am I doing? Uh, here, the challenge is to, to know, you know what is interesting to your audience. And for this, we can quite happily and reliably use uh, social engagements on content from multiple sources that have the similar kind of target audience as you're trying to reach. And um, to, to mine that content at scale, to understand not only which individual pieces are working well, but which which topics are working well across uh, across large quantities of content published recently. Um, so we can quite happily see by using the latest techniques in natural language processing, uh, what topic or topics each piece of content is about, and we can correlate that against all of these uh, social engagement metrics. So by understanding the ones that are uh, performing um, relatively well compared to the amount that they've been written about or spoken about, uh, we can make recommendations, or our platform can make recommendations on the content opportunities for the topics that are most interesting. So uh, the other part is uh, how to write about them. And here there are, there are many uh, tools that will analyze the content style uh, for uh, consistency of, of level in terms of the reader that you're trying to reach. Is it a sophisticated, highly literate? or low level of sophistication. Uh, and then there's the question of uh, adding in the keywords, which, which specific keywords, um, and this is really the game of uh, search engine optimization for helping brands to put the right words into their content in order to rank higher on search engines. How do you go about understanding what is tangibly better after use of machine learning in these various uh, fields that you can say, even to your customers, these are the tangible measures. Uh, one is uh, time saved. Can we uh, automate some of the tasks that may have, uh, take too long or simply be unfeasible by humans? Uh, the second part related to that is just the amount of time it takes to get from starting that research process to finishing the research process. So, you know, if we were to think of a kind of computing analogy, if you could parallelize that with, with, with people and get the result back very fast so that you can act on that, uh, on, on that uh, recommendation or the information presented to you, that would be a business advantage. Then, of course, there are page views on your website. You can think about uh, you know, repeat visits from the same customers, which topics they look at as they go through the um, buying journey. And then finally, giving customers the information they need at the, at the point where they've decided that they want to buy something of this kind, uh, and to then present them with the information they would need in order to make an informed decision as to which vendor they should go to.